Here's a tip today on measuring small amounts of chemicals accurately. Now, not all of us can afford expensive chemical scales, um, so it becomes a bit more difficult for us to make our own homebrew developers and fixers and things like that. But this tip might help you measure those very small amounts if you haven't got a scale that's accurate enough. Now, here I have a half teaspoon, one half teaspoon of phenidone, and that weighs one gram. And I'm going to put in the comments below this tip um, some common darkroom chemicals and how much they weigh uh, with tablespoons and teaspoons and so on to help you use this method. So this is one gram and I'm going to put that on my piece of paper here. We, we never use one gram of phenidone in a developer. It's a lot of phenidone. But so how do we, how do we measure that out accurately into small amounts? Well, as I look at this phenidone, I can actually measure it by eye. So I can cut this pile in half and push these two halves apart. And there I have one half gram in each pile. And visually, I can pretty accurately measure this amount of phenidone. So that there's half a gram and there's half a gram. If I want to cut it down to quarter of a gram, let's cut one of those piles in half. So now I have one quarter gram here, 0.25 grams of phenidone, 0.25 and half a gram. I can even get smaller than that. I can cut the quarter of a gram into one eighth of a gram there. So that's how to measure a chemical really simply and quite accurately, easily accurately enough for your home darkroom chemical formulas. Thanks a lot, hope you enjoyed the tip. Don't forget to like this video and please subscribe. Bye for now.